Pastor Marshall Campbell, who needs no introduction. He is larger than life with his personality, and we love it. He is such an encouragement, and we all look, I speak for myself, I look forward to always listening to his speeches. He makes me laugh, so I look forward to this one. Uh, DeMarco Campbell for Come to Toastmaster Meetings. just public speaking. It all starts with just one speech. It's not just public speaking. It all starts with one speech. Sweaty palms, shaky hands, sense of nausea. <laughs> you've stood up here before, you've all experienced those symptoms, right? It's the feeling of fear that you get when you're about to give your first speech. I think you agree with me when I say that a lot of people feel as though Toastmasters is a program where a lot of insepid people get together in a stuffy room and they teach you how to overcome those fears. Right? You agree or disagree? You agree of it? Yeah. Okay, good job. <laughs> <laughs> However, toast, if you really think about it, public speaking is an unused, for the most part, is an unused skill. Because with the exception of a few PowerPoints that you give to your team, a lot of us don't do much public speaking, right, Sean? With the exception of Thanksgiving with the family or happy hour with your friends. It's <laughs> pretty much an unused skill. However, Toastmasters provides us all the opportunity to work on our communication skills that are in addition, in addition to that, Toastmasters provide us with core skills to help us with our everyday communication. It's not just public speaking. What I say about everyday communication, it could be Monica, an email that you're going to send later on. Sean, it could be an ad hoc two-minute gossip rant at the ice machine. <laughs> <laughs> I often hear from new members, they consider themselves introverts. You've heard that term before, right? Or, I don't have the social skills, or I lack social, social ability, if that's a word. Whoever the grammarian is, that's a word right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a social butterfly, if you are a social speaker, take Angel. Angel could get up here and talk for two hours if you let her. <laughs> However... Toastmasters provides us and trains us to go from a social speaker to a competent, confident speaker. There's a big difference, right? Again, I consider myself to be a social speaker. However, I'm not all that confident all the time, and I'm not that confident with the things in the manner, and the ways that I put my emails together, and the way that I speak to Lauren. Toastmasters helps and facilitates those opportunities. Another reason why you should come to meetings, okay, is because it provides you with the opportunity to meet people. If you look around, look left, look right. How many times, give me a percentage, how many times have you seen Nick walking through the hallways? A lot, right? How many have you ever walked up to Nick and shook his hand? It's not, nobody, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so today, before Nick's leave, Nick, make sure you shake your hand. <laughs> because Soul Smash provides us with the opportunity to meet new people, right? Nick, way up here, some of us down here, right? Yes, okay, good. Toastmasters, just, okay, exclude Toastmasters. Any organization, Lauren, provides us the opportunity to meet people. Whether it's your book club, whether it's your group of your friends get together on Sunday, you go to Starbucks, you meet people. However, Toastmasters facilitates that even more. And what I mean by facilitates that even more, because Toastmasters put a strong emphasis on being supportive, right? We stand up, we clap, we hip hip hooray when someone does something good, strong emphasis. Now I say this with the utmost sincerity, I think it's a shame that we don't put that much emphasis on support in our everyday life. Think about if, you're, if every lead, supervisor, manager, director, senior VP was this supportive every time you turned in a report on time, how much better would your job be? It would be a lot easier for you to get up when that alarm clock ring, right? <laughs> okay, another reason that is, is Toastmasters puts a wide, Toastmasters puts you in the fast lane to meet new people because in addition to being supportive, there's a strong emphasis on being positive, right? Remember our mission, our mission statement, positive and supportive learning environment. So I just gave, I just hit on the bosses and leaders a little bit, but think about those of you that have direct reports. What if the people that directly report to you, Julie, gave you positive feedback all the time? Think how strong your team would be, right? Toastmasters provides that opportunity. Do we agree or disagree? <laughs> you follow me, Terrence? You still with me? Okay, great. <laughs> Last, what I want to persuade you of, why you should continue to come to more meetings, not just one. 
Great times we have in here, right? Elliot stood up here and gave his toast, gave his icebreaker speech. We all laughed. We had a great time. That was a hard task. But in addition to it being a hard task, we all had fun. New members that only come to one meeting don't have the opportunity to see that benefit of how much fun we have, right? Because new members, when you first come, Monica, your first meeting, you didn't know anybody. You didn't know whether you should stand, whether you should clap. You're just lost, right? <laughs> However, in my personal experience, I've had new members reach out to me and tell me that they're going to continue to come sheerly for the entertainment. Sheerly. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. What's up? The new members will come back and say, hey, I just love the way Q does her table topics. The entertainment is fun. So in addition to have a positive environment, a supportive environment, you throw in some fun with that, you're having a great time, right? It's easy to learn. It's easy to get up and go to work when you're having a good time, right? Okay. If you're one of those people that believe that Toastmasters is just a bunch of insepid people sitting in a stuffy room, having a boring time, you need to come to more than one meeting. It's not just public speaking, Michelle. It's not just public speaking, Sean. It all starts with one speech. Thank you.